Diane Green is a successful entrepreneur and businesswoman. Mendel Rosenblum is an associate professor of computer science at Stanford University, where he leads an operating systems research group. In the mid-90s, they began working together, focusing their efforts and combined expertise on the development of a virtualization strategy. Their work culminated in the 1998 formation of VMware, a company founded with the purpose of designing virtualization solutions for x86 desktops. Green and Rosenblum expanded their original development, launching a series of pioneering projects. For more than a decade, they continued to build VMware, growing it from a small startup company to the highly successful company it is today. As CEO and President, Green focused on the business side, while Rosenblum oversaw the technology as chief scientist. This pairing soon produced a powerful and elegant virtualization platform for x86 servers that has revolutionized the data center and changed the way IT infrastructure is built and managed. Under their management, VMware became the leading maker of virtualization software. VMware products are attractive to corporate customers because they can run multiple copies of a program on a computer, saving hardware and energy cost. Although virtualization had existed for some time, Green and Rosenblum recognized the vast potential of this technology in much more extensive, accessible, and useful applications. Green and Rosenblum's work created much more powerful, flexible, and stable computer systems. VMware changed the way servers were deployed, managed, and used. VMware server virtualizations enabled and accelerated data center consolidation. They also contributed to the green movement. Thinking green was novel in technology circles in 1998, but VMware demonstrated leadership in providing server technologies that reduced power consumption without decreasing processing power. For developing and commercializing one of the predominant and essential technologies in today's IT infrastructure, Diane Green and Mendel Rosenblum are deserving recipients of the Computer Entrepreneur Award. We are pleased to have Diane here to accept the award. Diane is not only a businesswoman, she's also a mechanical engineer, naval architect, and computer scientist. She combined her business acumen and training to take a promising idea, creating a technology that advanced the state of the art in computing. Ladies and gentlemen, please welcome Diane Green. <laughs> Well, thank you very much. Uh, Mendel and I just really said wow when we received this award and saw who else had received it and you know, really grateful and honored by, to the IEEE. Um, and even nicer, you know, almost nicer, it, it was great to get the award, but what happened after the press release was all the people, not everybody, but a lot of people that helped us build VMware started sending us mail uh, congratulating us, but really it just said so much about how proud um, everybody was and it deserves to be about what, what, what we managed to accomplish with VMware. Um, as you saw in the video, it wasn't a new idea. IBM did it in the 60s, early 70s, and it had kind of died out, uh, so much so that the Intel processor uh, didn't have any support for virtualization. And so uh, uh, we had the insight to, to revisit that, to modernize it, um, and bring it to commodity servers, commodity PCs. And I have to say that by the time we incorporated, we were, you know, had been thinking about it nonstop. We were convinced it was like the Swiss Army knife that was going to solve every problem in computers and it was going to run on every PC and server. Uh, we never dreamt that we would have the opportunity to mil build a multi-billion dollar uh, company and, 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 you know, set this virtualization industry in motion. And that was phenomenal. And that was really due to our amazing customers. I mean, once somebody used the product, um, they would demand that their company buy it and deploy it. And 
Uh, they were just evangelistic. And our partners, I mean, IBM was the first one, for obvious reasons, they understood what we had done. HP, Dell, um, all of our partners, even Intel, um, you know, really got on board and finally added some support to their processor. So it was, it, you know, that part, PG&E was paying, Pacific Gas and Electric was paying our customers to put virtualization on their servers because of the energy savings. It was just a, you know, a great, great collaborative effort and then the phenomenal uh, people at VMware, we had a lot of PhDs, we won a lot of best paper awards. Um, you know, it was innovation after innovation, and I think maybe one of the things we're all proudest of is how we've managed on an ongoing basis to accelerate taking research and bringing it to market, and I think that's a really important thing for the world uh, to keep doing. But um, I want to acknowledge my daughter, who was born six months into VMware, and she's here. <laughs> Mara, uh, Mendel's daughter, too. And Mendel really wanted to come. And if anybody knows Mendel, this is going to shock you. But he was um, in Uganda, Uganda, Africa, and he just could not. He, tr he actually changed his flight to try and make it, but he didn't quite make it. Um, it was quite an adventure. But um, again, thank you very much. We're really honored, and um, thank you. Thank you.